Welcome to this Excel video. This will be a quickie. It's about option buttons. Very useful if you're trying to create survey forms where you might want to ask athletes, coaches or other people some questions. You can make it look nice and, and uh, make the data completion process easy for them. It tends to encourage adherence. So um, much like my training diaries in a different video, if you make it easy, you get better outcomes. So what I've done here is I've got five questions. Each question has got the opportunity to give a rating of good, average or poor and um, you can see, just see in column G here I've, I've collected all the answers together the top cell is question 1, it currently says option 3, option 2, option 1, etc. So what we're looking to do uh, typically with these kinds of questionnaires is, is collect this data here and paste it into another sheet that summarizes either the same person's answers over a period of time or um, a whole team of people over one sample period. So collecting the answers into one place tends to save a little bit of time with the analysis. So I'm just going to go across to a, another page where I've set things up fairly much the same. I just want to be able to uh, see things a bit better, which is why I haven't colored columns D, E and F in grey yet. I'll do that later. So what I want to do is firstly show you where to find these option buttons. If you click on the insert menu, there's two types of uh, controls here. One of them is an active X and one of them is a form control. The active X controls have got quite a lot more flexibility and, and possibility in comparison to form controls but the snag is that they require you to be able to write some VBA code straight off the bat so um, unlike with macros where you can record uh, VBA code and it, it, it does it for you, ActiveX you need to be able to write it yourself. So um, form control is a much easier option, you don't have to do any coding. So if I look up in this top corner, there's an option button available, I click on it, I get a little crosshair cursor and I can draw my button. It comes with, I'll just expand that out, comes with some automatically generated text so I, I just want to get rid of that. I don't need that at all because I've already put some labels if you like on the on the answer by putting that good average and poor. So uh, get rid of the text and I'm just going to copy a couple more and what's quite clever about um, option buttons is they know that they're related to each other so if I click on one and I click on the second one it only allows me to select one at a time that's why they're called option buttons and that's what's uh, a good feature of them unfortunately if I uh, wanted to do this whole spreadsheet what happens is Excel thinks they're all part of the same question so I need to go back a step I'm just going to get rid of these buttons. <clears throat> First thing I need to do to make sure that I don't get that overlap problem is to draw what's called a group box over the top. So I am simply going to get rid of all that text. So it just looks like a border really, but it plays an important role. If I now put an option button inside that group box, What I want to do is do a format control on it. The far right tab comes up and it gives me the possibility to link it to a cell. And so this is really the only step that I have to make. I'm going to click on cell G4. Okay. So just make that text white so you can see what's going on. There we go. So as you can see, I check the option and it shows number one. Just do that again and insert it. Saves Excel getting confused. Alright, now hopefully I don't have to align things each time. One, two, three. So it has picked up because it's inside that group box. 
that they're together. So they're not obviously very well aligned, but let's see. If I can line them up, we go align center. Undo that. I was on the right track, but I want to go align middle. Yeah, that's more like it. So now we've got them lined up inside a group box. So I'm going to do <coughs> one last thing, and that is I'm just going to group them along with the border so that they can be easily moved around. So <coughs> I'm going to do that again. Develop a tab, insert. Draw my box. Get rid of the text. Dump a couple of option buttons in. Select one of the controls, link it to a cell, and the same thing has happened as before. They operate independently of question one. So there we go. Um, I'd repeat that three more times. Then I would Get that same color and it would start looking a little bit like it did on the other page so option buttons pretty cool way to um, set up a questionnaire really makes it easy for people um, you can use them in lots of uh, other places as well you would have seen in a previous video of mine I, I often put them on a dashboard chart so that you can uh, choose between three options to appear on a, on a graph for example and, and people like that kind of interaction so um, dashboard quest uh, dashboard option buttons very much worth a look if you have any questions or want a copy of this uh, spreadsheet please drop me a line and I'll be happy to send it to you thanks for stopping by